Sometimes it is difficult to keep track of your own notes, to be always up to date and to quickly and easily access information. That's what we take care about now. Through automated table of contents we solve all this. Filter notes according to any search criteria and then have them summarized into a table of contents. But the real big thing about it is, the overview updates itself. So you configure your overview once and benefit from it as long as you need it. And you can also include as many table of contents in each note as you like. Just some examples. You can get overviews of your tasks, projects or the status of orders. Or you can get up-to-date overviews of articles or other research material that you collect in Evernote. In addition, you can check off what is already done and know what's left to do. We build an overview for tasks now. That's the way it will look like in the end, with checkboxes and a reminder time. Therefore, what do you have to do practically in Filterize? This time we need to go to the Talk Manager. Talk is short for Table of Contents. I open Create New Talk and now we have to configure a few things. First, I determine which notes should be included in my overview. We do that with an Evernote search query. So you can specify search terms here as in Evernote and even use the Evernote search operators. More information about the Evernote search operators can be found under this video. I now want to create a list of all my tasks. I mark tasks in Evernote by the tag task. Hence, my search query is tag double dot task. Down here you determine whether the table of contents is limited to the notebook it is placed in. So only notes out of this notebook will be used for the table of contents. And as next, set the note order within the list. Below is a preview of how the table of contents in Evernote will look like. Now we continue with the design. What should your overview look like? Decide whether you want a plain list, an unordered list, an ordered list or a table. And this time with a limited preview. I wanted a table and I also wanted some more information. And therefore, I add the attributes checkboxes and reminder time below. Of course, I can also rearrange the columns by clicking on the three bars and dragging them to the appropriate place. Besides, you can make some smaller settings such as font size, line style, color and so on. You can play with these settings on your own a little later. Now it is almost done. But there is something really important to do now. You have to set a search tag. What do you need this for? Well, somehow Filterize needs to know where to place your table of contents. That's why you have to insert exactly what you determine here somewhere in an Evernote note. After two Evernote things, the search tag will be replaced with your table of contents. To separate this marker or search tag from the rest of your notes content, it is best to write something in square or curly brackets, like in my case, tasks in square brackets. You can include any number of such overviews in any note, hence the search tag has to be unique for different table of contents you create. Okay, as next you can set a default text. It will be shown if there are no entries for your overview, but this way you know that something could be in here. You rarely need conditions with this type of filter, so I skip it. Now you can name your table of contents filter and save it. And we are done at Filterize. How does the table of contents get into your Evernote? I create a new note, heading is my tasks. And now I write my search tag in here, square brackets, tasks. But you can also insert the search tag in any existing node. I synchronize two times and here's my overview. 
From here I can now access directly to any desired node. Once an hour the overview is updated automatically or immediately after you click on refresh now in the footer. Now you know all the important things about the table of contents. Filterize table of contents are a super powerful feature that you will love quickly. Keep track of things easily, stay up to date and access nodes incredibly quickly. You already know many possibilities you get with Filterize and above all, the filters leave a lot of room for your creativity. In the beginning, I promised to show you later a trick how to automate existing nodes easily and now we are ready for it. So I see you in the next video. Bye!